Today on Jimbo Vision, The Assassin. At last, a film for people who feel treacle moves just too quickly. The Assassin is director Ho Tzu Xian's extended meditation or homage on an old Chinese folk legend. The story, I think, concerning a young girl raised by a nun to be an assassin. So far, so sound of music. Who, however, having mastered the sword, then lets pity get in the way of the kill. So, to toughen her up, the nun sends her next to kill her cousin, who she was once betrothed to. Her first cousin once removed, or at least he soon will be. And that's about as much as I could gather. Ho is not a director in much of a mood for explaining. Parts of his film are beautiful, parts of it are bewildering. Parts of it feature some extraordinary fight scenes, which seem to catch the director almost as much by surprise as the rest of us, given that they appear not entirely on camera. Hey, we're over here! Now possibly, given Ho's artistic intentions, it would be gauche to focus on the action more fully. However, close-ups of every single goat in a field, that he has time for. It's a challenging approach, but it works for Sun, the film after all one best director at Cannes, and the, the critics seem to love Ho. Rappers mention him a lot as well. I myself had the feeling at times during one extended gaze at the scenery that the director was trying to pull off the cinematic equivalent of a track stand, that cycling manoeuvre where riders slow to a complete stop without falling over. Certainly The Assassin has a rhythm and a visual language that has little in common with most Western cinema or even with films like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. But it left me wanting to see more, if only to understand exactly what I've been watching. Ravishing, inscrutable, and for a film about a killer curiously bloodless, The Assassin is a bit like a painting, only not as fast moving. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10, although I'm still not entirely clear why.